Good morning to all our Pathfinder primary schools. It's Mr Nihil here again, lay chaplain at Archbishop Holgate's. And today we're going to start with a shout out to all the students at Heweth Primary School. This week our act of collective worship is on the theme of kindness and I'm sure that you, like me, will have experienced lots of acts of kindness, particularly in these really challenging times. So sit back and enjoy our collective worship. Hi guys, great to see you all again. My name is Jessica and this is my friend Chris. Hey. Our assembly today is all about kindness. K to the I to the N to the D to the N to the E to the S to the S. What does that spell? Kindness. What does that spell? Kindness. Yes, yes, Chris, kindness is great. But actually, we don't always have to make a big song and dance about it. What do you mean? Well, I guess I just mean that sometimes the greatest acts of kindness are actually quite small. I can do small. K to the I to the N to the D to the N to the E to the S to the S. What does that spell? Kindness. What does that spell? Kindness. But there are some really big acts of kindness too. K-I-N-D. But also small. K-I-N-D. Really big acts of kindness, like all the NHS staff helping everyone across the nation. K-I-N-D. And the cup of tea you might make for your mum. K-I-N-D. People donating money, food or time to charities and good causes. K-I-N-D. Or listening to someone who needs to be heard. K-I-N-D. Um, or maybe... I think we get the picture now. Okay, okay. Let's talk to some friends about what they think kindness is. Kindness to me is sharing and playing with people no matter who they are. Kindness to me was when everyone helped me to settle into my new school. Kindness to me is when we cheer each other up when we're down. Kindness to me is when I know I can rely on my friends to be there for me at all times. Aw, those guys must be so kind. I bet they are. It's really great to share stories about kindness. It makes me feel like this. Definitely. Especially while we're in lockdown, it's great to hear the ways people have gone above and beyond to be kind to each other. Our friends Nick and Becky Drake have written a song called Looking to the Rainbow. The rainbow has been a symbol of kindness and hope throughout lockdown. Something to inspire us to be kind and to be hopeful of the future. Let's listen to the song now. Take it away guys. I'm Becky Drake and I wrote Looking to the Rainbow, which is a song I wanted to give as a gift to my school community to bring them some joy and some hope during this lockdown season. I'm so proud of the children and staff that made our original recording happen. We needed a reminder that a new day is coming and I am delighted that we have inspired other schools to do the same.
great message. It is. And it's just like you said, Jessica, some acts of kindness are big, but most of them are quite small. And during lockdown, it is quite hard to make big, huge gestures of kindness. At the moment, if we want to be kind, maybe we can only do the little things. But just because something looks small on the outside doesn't mean that it's not big on the inside. Doing something to be kind to someone else it might only take a small amount of time or effort for you, but it can make a big difference to them. That is cool to think about. It's great to think of others more than yourselves. Christians believe that's how God wants us to live. Putting others first. In the Bible, in Romans chapter 12, verse 10, it says, Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. I remember my friends Boris and Dave from HeartSmart saying something like, Kindness is about putting others above ourselves. Should we have a chat to them? Over to HeartSmart. Hello, well it's great to see you again, isn't it Boris? Hello, yes, it's great to be seen. I don't know what day you're watching on, whether you're watching it in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, who knows, middle of the week, weekend. We're just excited that you're here, aren't we Boris? We're very excited, Dave. Mm. Hey, Dave. Yeah? I've got an idea. Go on. Why don't we change the names of the week? Right, go on, what are you thinking? Well, I've been thinking Monday could be Mow the Lawn Monday. Alright. Tidy the House Tuesday. Yeah. Wash the Car Wednesday. <laughs> think of Kind Things Thursday. And then my favourite, yeah? Freezer Friday. Oh, Freezer Friday. What happens on Freezer Friday? Dave, that is the day that you eat anything you want from the freezer. <laughs> I love this idea. What an interesting idea, boss. What, what gave you that idea that you kind of would change the names of the week, kind of make it fun like that? Well, I like fun. It's nice to change things. Yeah, I really like that. Well, that's a good that's a good reason as you need, isn't it? You know, one of the things we say at HeartSmart is too much selfie isn't healthy. And one of the things I love about what you've just talked about, Boris, is actually, in a lot of those, apart from that freezer Friday, you're thinking about other people. You're talking about mowing the lawn, perhaps for someone else, or maybe you were thinking yes. about doing it for yourself. Yes. Well, Dave, just imagine if you didn't mow the lawn, what would happen? It would actually probably give it about 70 years. You'd probably have a forest, wouldn't you? You would. Yeah. Amazing. But then, if there was no food in the freezer, yeah. you could always eat the grass. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is amazing. Who who knew that robots could be so creative? This is fantastic, Boris. But I do, back to the too much selfies and healthy thing, I think that's just so interesting that you are just thinking of some great ways to inspire us because sometimes we can just get up and we can just think about ourselves all day long. We don't realise. because Our head can hit the pillow and all we've thought about all day is just ourselves. Isn't that right? That's right. It's easy to just think about yourself. It is, but actually, when, you, when you're going to think, oh, you know what, Wednesday is, what's Wednesday? Wash the car Wednesday, I'm going to do something, I'm going to wash my parents' car or something like that. That's just such a lovely thought. And although you don't have to do those things, I just think it's something really nice in actually thinking about other people and what kind things you can do. Because one thing I know for sure is that you are kind. And kind people do kind things. So, we hope that whatever the day of the week it is, that you find something kind to do today and that actually as you do something kind for someone else it actually will help you feel great inside as well isn't that right boris yes dave mm -hmm. you've been very kind to me over the years oh boris you've been kind to me too <laughs> see you soon bye all those in favor of making freezer friday a thing aye that was brilliant thank you so much boris and dave you know, I think as well as being kind to each other, it's also important for us to be kind to the environment. I think so too, Chris. The Church of England has created a great project called Letters of Creation. Here's a video example of a letter to creation. My name is Ruby. Ty. Deontay. Miss Ingram. Davina. Alia. 
am Miss Preston. We are from Christchurch Primary School in Purley. We heard about the letters for creation project in our class of worship. We decided to enter the competition to see how creative we can be. We used many different materials and colours to make our creation project. It took some time, but at the end we thought we was proud of ourselves because we thought it looked beautiful. We challenge you to to get involved in the letters for creation project two. What a great way to show kindness to our planet. There's been loads to think about in today's episode. Let's take a minute and have a breath so we can reflect on it all. And whilst we do, let's have a listen to Canterbury Cathedral Choir, who will be singing the song Stay With Me Lord, originally by Will Todd. While you listen, why don't you think about the ways you could show kindness, both to our planet and the people in it. The way that I can express my faith is through singing, and the Cathedral Choir really helps me to do this. This is one of my favourite pieces that we sang on our recent tour of America. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Don't forget to check out our resources page. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys! So, I do hope that you've enjoyed our act of collective worship this week. And there'll be lots for you to think about and also lots for you to act upon. And so I'd encourage you in the week ahead to be kind and to look out for ways in which you can be kind to your family and also to your neighbours as well. So work hard, stay safe and take care of yourselves. God bless you all. <laughs>